Robert Plank Show episode 146, My Testimonial Engine. Get more reviews and get better reviews for any online or offline business with Doran Aldana. Hey everyone, cool. and welcome back to the Robert Plank Show. Our <clears throat> guest today is Doran Aldana. He's the CEO and president of MortgageMarketingCoach.com and the founder of the Testimonial Engine, the number one software for helping service-based local businesses collect and share client reviews on autopilot. As a result of his client's extraordinary success, he has won the prestigious Best Industry Service Provider Award three years in a row. So that's pretty cool, and welcome to the show, Doran. Hey, thanks so much for having me, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. So could you tell us about what it is that you do and what makes you stand out, what makes you different and special? Yeah, man. Well, I'm a, I'm a father of four, the Fab Four. I'm a husband. I'm an entrepreneur. I got a couple of businesses. Uh, one, we provide marketing solutions to mortgage professionals at mortgagemarketingcoach.com. And another, which I think we'll be drilling down into deeper, is the Testimonial Engine. It's a software by service, and we help business owners, uh, generally service-based business owners, but uh, business owners in general attract more five-star rave reviews from their happy clients and get them on review sites like Google+, Plus, Yelp, Facebook, you name it, we cover it. And so uh, that almost keeps me out of trouble between the two businesses. Nice, just enough to stay busy. So with the, this, uh, <laughs> right. so the, this testimonial engine, uh, how does it work? What's it all about? Well, it's all about the big problem that a lot of business owners are either consciously aware of or subconsciously aware of, and that is, is generally a pain in the ass to get reviews from their happy clients. It's cumbersome. It's time consuming. You know, they might send out an email and rarely will they get a response or they might chase them around with phone calls or send out something in the mail asking them to send it back, you know, postage paid. And generally speaking, it's really not an easy feat to get clients, customers to submit reviews. And so we make that easy breezy lemon squeezy by putting the whole thing on autopilot. Essentially, it's as easy as just uploading their name, email, phone number, uh, et cetera, into our system, and then just set it and forget it, and the system does all the heavy lifting for them. It asks them for the review. It asks them to copy and paste that review onto other review sites that they want to build their reputation on, and it just makes it much more expedient for the business owner to get positive reviews and to get those reviews on review sites as well as share them on social media like uh, Facebook, Google+, Plus, and Twitter, so all their fans and followers are seeing these awesome rave reviews from their happy, happy clients uh, in the news feed. And uh, of course, that's just another way to build their brilliant brand and to position themselves as the only logical choice, building their business at the speed of trust. Does that answer your question, Robert? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it answers it, and then it kind of gets me off on a on a whole cool, fun <laughs> direction, which is – so you mentioned in there that, um, that okay, getting getting reviews and stuff like that for any business, it, any business is kind of a hassle, kind of cumbersome, kind of time-consuming. A lot of people don't do it. So how does your system get this done when just normally emailing them doesn't work? Well, generally speaking, when you just send out an email asking them to submit a review on Google or whatever platform you happen to be using, if it's a review site like Google or Yelp or any other review site, Facebook, if the client does not have an account for that platform, generally they're not going to submit a review because in order for them to submit a review, they need an account. So you're going to alienate a big chunk of your database, your clientele, if you're doing that because there's always going to be a certain chunk of your database that doesn't use that plat platform. It doesn't have an account for that platform. And generally speaking, the people who have the highest net worth, the people that are a little more seasoned in life, they tend not to be as active on social media and have accounts for these sorts of things. So it's going to dramatically suppress response if you're going for the jugular and asking for a review directly on these platforms one by one or um, directly to one in particular. So rather than doing that, the testimonial engine makes it way easier for your clients to submit a review because they don't need an account. So it's just as simple as sending them an email saying, hey, uh, thanks so much for 
visiting or thanks so much for choosing Acme International, whatever your company name is. Uh, we'd be delighted if you could take a brief moment to submit a review. Let us know how we did. It only takes like 30 seconds. It would mean the world to us. So it's really kind of simple in your request. You can do this by text message as well, right to their mobile phone. And when they click the link in either context, it's going to send them to a place that allows them to submit a review without needing an account. And that allows you to get a higher response because everyone is in a position to submit a review. And uh, that means more positive reviews for your company, more trust being built in terms of your reputation. And then after the review is captured, Robert, that's where we want to ask them to post that review onto the strategic review sites that you and your company want to build strategically online. And there are a ton of them out there, but generally speaking, it's the Google, the Facebook, the Yelps, and those sorts of platforms that help more prospective clientele find out about you and positions you as the only logical choice. So that's kind of the, the secret sauce to getting more reviews and milking them for all they're worth is being able to get more reviews by not requiring an account and then asking them to share the love and share the news by posting them on strategic review sites. Does that it, make sense? Yeah. So, uh, well, it makes sense and I'm kind of trying to picture this. So am I getting this right in that it's almost like a two-step process? Like they, 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 they get an email and you ask, how do we do? They click the link, they fill in the survey, but they don't have any other way of going on to Yelp or Facebook or Google until after they've filled that in. Is that right? Bingo. So on the thank you page, if it's indeed, that's where we're going to ask them to copy and paste it onto Google or Facebook or Yelp or whatever it happens to be. Usually three or four options, not 10 or 20, because a confused mind generally says no. But if it's a negative review, we don't want to ask them to do that because it's going to corrode and tarnish your reputation online and it's almost impossible to remove the blemish once it's added. So we have a slick little system where if it's a negative review, uh, three stars or below, it sends them to a damage control page where we're empathizing with them saying, sorry, you know, things didn't go as planned or sorry, you had a bad experience. If you'd be so kind as to share what went wrong and how we can fix it, we'll rectify this as soon as possible. And when they submit that review or that feedback, it's 100% quarantined, it's 100% confidential and private. So it acts like a firewall. So that negativity doesn't spew onto the web and corrode your reputation for years to come. It's quarantined. And that way you can do damage control, be all over it like white on rice and hopefully turn them around. Studies show that seven out of 10 consumer, consumers will do business with a business again if their complaint is resolved quickly. So speed is the name of the game and that's why our system notifies you instantaneously in real time when any feedback comes through, whether it be positive and or negative, so that you can uh, stay abreast as to what's going on with your business in real time and hopefully turn them around if there's any negativity or any complaints coming through. Does that make sense? Yeah, and that's pretty cool. The last thing you mentioned there where they get notified for a good or bad review because someone can go and make a quick phone call, send out a quick postcard, something cool like that. Yeah, exactly. And it always feels great. I mean, you got you to gotta know when you're getting loads and loads of positive reviews and positive feedback coming through in your inbox or on your mobile device, you know you're feeling great. I mean, it's affirmation, it's confirmation. You're glowing from ear to ear, grinning from ear to ear, knowing you're doing a great job because of all this praise is coming through. So that gives you a little more pep in, in your step, a little more sparkle in your eye, a little bit more uh, sense that you're on purpose and on point and you're making a difference. And if it's negative, then you feel good that at least you're being able to rectify it quickly and it's not just kind of um, happening under the ground in the invisible realm brewing and eventually, you know, in many cases, when you allow it to brew like that, it spews out onto the web and that's after the fact and you can't do anything to rectify it because it's already on these review sites and once they get on there, it's like virtually impossible to remove it. So this is a really important piece of the puzzle that most people aren't aware of. Yeah, and the way that you were explaining that, like as you were in the middle of explaining it, my first thought was like, oh no, this is kind of 
this is kind of kind of shady but then once you finish your thought it actually made sense where you know if someone if someone wants to leave a good review four stars five stars great let them do that but if they have three stars or below you kind of stop them and try to try to fix it and at first thought i was thinking Oh man, that's that's almost kind of kind of shifty. But the more I think about it, it's like, well, if someone leaves a bad review, I mean, they they put they usually want that they usually had a problem and they want something fixed. And then kind of like you said too, like mm-hmm. it's it's really tough to go back and try to hunt that person down. And if they left a one star Yelp review to like you know try to get them to fix it, and all these review platforms, to my understanding, don't like you to bribe someone to leave a better review so it seems like this is kind of catches the problem before it becomes a problem well exactly and if you're really committed to excellence you obviously will do whatever it takes to turn the client around and uh, turn them from unsatisfied to satisfied or at least satiated to the point where they feel like you did the best job possible to turn the situation around you'll do that regardless of what kind of incentive monetary or otherwise you get because that's just who you are that's what you're committed to that's how you show up but to be able to have that buffer where you're not having to deal with all the negativity that's now irreversible and irrevocable is huge because now you're able to turn people around and you don't have to worry about all the crap they spewed up on the World Wide Web that people are reading for years to come. Even though you rectified it, they may not know about that because uh, in many cases, they're not able to see that you rectified it. That's just how these review sites are set up. It's like kind of locked in stone in many cases. So it's a really important buffer that's uh, mission critical if you want to manage your online reputation and maximize your perception in the eyes of prospective clients and customers. And uh, the beautiful thing is, you know, the whole thing runs on autopilot, so you don't have to sweat it. You just focus on what you do best, meeting with clients, cash and checks, or whatever it happens to be, and you get the best to do all the rest. And that's what I'm all about is helping people focus on their brilliance instead of, you know, dealing with all the minutia. You with me? Yeah, get get to the exciting stuff. So why did exactly why did you make this? Was this a kind of situation where like you didn't see anything like this existed, or maybe did you try some alternatives, or did you need it for yourself? Like how did this come to be? Yeah, well, I worked as I mentioned earlier. I've been working with mortgage professionals for quite some time. I started out being kind of a general uh, life coach, and then uh, started to study marketing because I realized if I don't learn this marketing thing, I'm going to have skinny kids. So I started to become a piranha for information on marketing and really honing my skills as a marketer. And then a client did really well with me in the mortgage space. And he said, dude, you should share the love with other people in the mortgage space because they could really use your help. And so that was way back in 2004. And I've been growing and going ever since Just specialize as a mortgage marketing consultant and providing all kinds of done for you uh, solutions inside of that business. And so along the journey, this thing about testimonials just kept coming up. It was kind of the perennial topic that seemed to have relevance and and uh, mission critical mass appeal for a lot of my clients. They were just thinking, you know, I need more testimonials, but it's so dang hard to get them. And we kept being confronted with the challenge of it. And then when I said the opportunity to uh, partner with uh, my business partner and uh, launch the testimonial engine, you know, it was like, man, this is just a, a hand in glove opportunity. And I know that it's becoming more and more important with Google's algorithm now for local search becoming inextricably linked with uh, reviews, not just quality, but also quantity. And being that I was working with people who are in the local space, mortgage professionals, it just, it was just intuitively a yes for me. I knew this is, uh, you know, the next big thing. And so I pounced on it. Cool. And, and what's, what's awesome about this is that, I mean, you kind of, you built it for the, or you started in the mortgage space and this works well in the mortgage space, but this works in any business. Well, I guess if your business has zero customers, this doesn't apply, but if your business has one customer or more, <laughs> right? then this is a useful tool. Yeah. And you know, the other really slick thing is if you just want to get more reviews and have them on your website, not have to mess around trying to like copy and paste them every time you get them or send them to your webmaster and go through the the hassle of trying to get every single one of them manually transferred on your website, you're going to love uh, something like the testimonial engine because once you have your account set up and you get reviews, any positive reviews, which generally is four stars or above, will auto feed right on your website. You just add a little bit of code on the on the site and then it auto feeds all your most recent positive reviews in real time right on your site. So no extra, you know, headaches or hassle. It's just literally, as I said before, set it and forget it. 
And that's pretty cool because that way you don't, like you said, you don't have to hunt around five different sites to have all those reviews. It's all, like you you have it on a site where you can control it. Bingo. And um, you can also, any review you don't like, even if it shows up positive, if you just don't like how they wrote it or how they framed it, you can just press the, go into your dashboard and press the suppress button and you can suppress it so it doesn't show up on your website. So it's super easy to modify these two. The only thing you can't really suppress is when they hit your Google or your Yelp or those review sites um, because they control it. You don't control those review sites. They do. And that's why you need an account to submit a review on those sites. So you get to control everything on the testimonial engine side. Um, and that's why it's so important to make sure all the most positive stuff spills over onto the review site so that uh, you've only got glowing rave reviews that you're proud of uh, on those platforms instead of stuff that tarnishes your reputation that you're not so proud of. Right. So you said that, that you use this in the mortgage area. Can you tell us about someone's business you helped either in the mortgage area or outside of mortgages where – where they had a real problem with reviews, either bad ones or not getting enough, and then they used my testimonial engine to get a bunch more good reviews? Absolutely. I got a hunting buddy here in Kamloops. I'm in BC, beautiful British Columbia, Canada, and uh, I'm in a, a very kind of redneck town, and one of the big things we love to do out here is hunt. And I got a hunting buddy who uh, has a spa. He's got like 17 technicians working for him, and he went from a franchise to being independent. So needless to say, he had to start from scratch with his brand and he was virtually unfound on the web. Like he had zero presence whatsoever. We're starting him from scratch from ground zero. So I helped him set up his Yelp account and his testimonial engine account and his Google, my business account and all that good stuff. And we uploaded his list of past clients and then we did some ninja tactics to follow up with the people who weren't weren't responding with some additional emails. And within, I think it was two months, he went from the bowels of cyberspace where no one could even find him, even if they wanted to, to being number one on Google for the three pack, which is fancy terminology for the top three listings in the local search where you have the flag on the map. I don't know if you've noticed that, but they show up in threes in the top listing, right? Right. So he's not, he's number one in the three pack with more reviews than all of his competitors combined. Plus he's also got his, uh, website because it's optimized with his positive reviews and his positive reviews are linked with his website. His website is number one for organic search for his target keywords as well. We did all that within two months. Just by using that tool and by, by using some of those simple strategies. Setting up the review sites, getting a whole whack of positive reviews on those review sites and building up his digital presence with more reviews than any of his competitors. That was 98% of it right there. So what, I mean, what are his competitors and what are a lot of people out there doing incorrectly with their reviews on their sites, aside from not using my testimonial engine? Yeah, this guy's um, competitors are like, um, the keywords are like day spa, Kamloops day spa, uh, Kamloops uh, manicure, pedicure, that kind of stuff. And frankly, his competitors, for the most part, just are clueless how important reviews are. Chances are they don't have a system. The key word there is system, which stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. They don't have a system for getting reviews and getting maximum quantity and quality of reviews. And that's really what the game changer was for my buddy is we plugged him into the testimonial engine and he just roared past his competitors in short order and left him in the dust. It wasn't really that he was any better per se, although he would tell you because, you know, his unbiased opinion, right? <laughs> he right. would tell you he's better. But frankly, the the game changer was not that he was necessarily any better. It was just that he knew how to uh, take all that latent praise in his database and convert it into real glowing rave reviews on the web and he didn't necessarily know how to do it. He just knew someone who did. That would be yours truly. And we did all the heavy lifting for him. So it's about leveraging strengths. It's about leveraging technology. It's about leveraging 
his database and turning his database into a flood of rave reviews and then positioning those in the right strategic places is places so that um, he can actually start getting more clients from it. So does your system have the ability for someone to dump in their whole database and uh, is there is there a way for it for example like if uh, if you send out an email for someone to, to leave a review and they don't does it have any kind of follow-up? Yeah there's follow-up automated follow-up if they don't uh, respond. And then there's also the ability to send freestanding kind of broad broadcast emails to people, uh, either one on one or a group uh, via email using the testimonial engine. So you can do additional follow ups beyond the automated. I think the automated does, does two or three follow ups, depending on how you toggle it. And then you can send additional broadcast emails to the hard eggs to crack you know, the people who are just not responding for whatever reason. And then uh, what was the other question you had? Sorry, you asked me two questions in one, and I forgot the other yeah, one. The, the, <laughs> uh, no, Sweat. The first, following, uh, the first question was, can they import their whole database in there? Right. Yeah, yeah. For sure. They could do it one onesies and twosdays. Uh, so you can do them manually one at a time. Or if you have a bulk, if you have a list, you know, if you have a, a CRM and you're exporting from uh, your CRM, you can just do a CSV export. And then all we need is your client's name and email, or if you're using the SMS funnel uh, and asking for reviews via text messaging, we'll also need your client's mobile phone number. So really easy to do. It's just a CSV export from your, C your CRM or your Excel spreadsheet, and then we import it to the system, and then it just uh, starts sending out the requests on autopilot. Awesome. And so like, as we're winding this down, um, the, something that always comes to mind, especially lately, is like how many like, – I don't know. I'm always wondering like how many businesses out there are already plugged in, like how, how much competition is there. So like off the top of your head, would you say that with the, the companies you deal with, like out of like, – what percentage even, even does something like this? What percentage even has some kind of review system in place, would you say? Oh, that's a good question. I'm probably a little over cynical because most of the people I talk to don't have Jack in terms of a system. So I might be a little overly biased, but I would say to be relatively as accurate as I possibly can and also conservative, I'd say probably about five to 10%, somewhere in that range. Dang. So one so out of 10, very, one very, out of very few. So if, yeah. if, if no, someone, it's... if someone, if any business just kind of plugged into this, they would automatically be ahead of most other businesses out there as far as this kind of stuff. Oh, dude, this is a game changer, not just in terms of getting reviews, but also we teach our clients how to convert at least 20% of their database into rave reviews, sometimes more, sometimes a whole lot more. But on average, at least 20. So if you got 100 people in your database, we got at least 20 glowing reviews for you within a matter of seven days or less with a testimonial engine. But we don't stop there. Then we go one step further because I'm a marketing expert. I'm thinking to myself, how can we optimize the lifetime value of your clients? So you're not just getting one transaction, but multiple transactions. And so what we figured out is that the best people to send referrals which by the way is the most profitable way to grow your business. It's five, time, five times less expensive, five times more profitable than getting clientele through paid advertising, studies show. You can get referrals from these people who are giving you positive reviews. I mean, think about it. Who better to get positive, who, who better to get referrals from than people who've raised their hand and sung your praises in the form of a rave review? Right. There is no better, right? And so we now teach our clients how to strategically launch a dedicated referral attraction campaign to their rave reviewers, their happy clients who've given them a four star or above. And I developed this killer letter called the magic wand letter. It goes out in the mail, snail mail, with a tangible toy magic wand enclosed. So you, your clients can't ignore it. They have to open it. Their curiosity gets the best of them. There's something lumpy. They got to figure out what it is, right? Yeah. So they open up the mail. They open up the envelope. There's a toy magic wand in there. And the headline says, I wish, I wish, poof, 
I could have more clients like you. I know it's cheesy as hell, but it works. It works really, really well. In fact, one of my clients sent out uh, 50 of these letters and generated 18 G's in commissions from 50 letters, five Jeez. zero. Cost them 200 bucks, made them 18 G's. How's that for an ROI? Freaking amazing. Yeah, so it might be cheesy, but it'll put more cheese in your wallet. Would you be? Would you like to be cool and broke or cheesy and rich? I don't know about you, but I prefer the latter. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a little bit of a <laughs> of a hit from my pride and my ego to get some money for sure. So absolutely. So great. I mean, I mean, this sounds amazing. The the magic one letter and your uh, testimonial engine sounds amazing. And I understand that you have uh, a free gift of some kind for us. Is that right? I do, yeah. Um, as we speak right now, I don't have the page ready. It'll be ready by the time this podcast hits the streets. But uh, I've got a special domain that I've put together. And it's for anyone listening, any of your peeps listening, Robert, who would like to get access to that magic wand letter uh, in a Word document. So it's 100% customizable for your own respective business, as well as a bunch of tools and templates and checklists and swipe and deploy proven and effective uh, referral as well as review request letters and campaigns. Uh, it's all encapsulated inside of a, an awesome resource called the Ultimate Testimonial Toolkit. It's got a $97 value. I'm hooking your peeps up uh, I'm hooking your peeps up with this for free. If they go to my testimonial engine.com forward slash Robert, my testimonial engine.com forward slash Robert, you just pop in your info, press submit. You're good to go. It'll be sent in your inbox within a matter of a few minutes. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. My testimonial engine.com slash Robert. And is there any other web address you want to send people to, or will just that one do it? Yeah, I mean, if you want to learn more about the testimonial engine, you can go to mytestimonialengine.com, and we got lots of information there. Uh, we got a blog, we got free demos, uh, we got a one dollar trial, we've got uh, a free course. There's lots of helpful stuff there. Awesome. So mytestimonialengine.com, and more importantly, mytestimonialengine.com/robert to get the magic wand letter. Man, thanks for stopping by the show, Doran. I mean, this uh, this whole idea about um, you know, with the with the review stuff, like it's such a simple idea, but it, but it's something that a lot of people don't do. And within the idea, it has all these little clever twists, which I really enjoyed. So I think that this is this is awesome strategy, and I liked it. So thanks for stopping by and telling us all about it. Hey, thank you. I love the work you're doing. You're doing a great job. So keep up the great work, man. Cool. Same to you. Hey, it's Robert Plank. Thanks for listening to our interview with Doran today. Have you rated and reviewed and even subscribed to the podcast yet? It's really easy. Go right now to robertplank.com slash iTunes and you can click the subscribe button right now.